If you clicked on this video, you probably came across someone on YouTube claiming to be a GeoTuber, or saw a comment with the word GeoTuber in it. You're likely unsure about what this means and who this pertains to. Well, look no further. This video will explain everything you need to know about GeoTubers and what they are. In short, YouTube has many niches or interests that different YouTubers will cover. This could be cars, business, politics, and many other topics. GeoTuber is simply a term used to describe someone who makes YouTube content in a niche related to geography in some way, hence Geo and Tuber being the two combining forms of the word GeoTuber. However, not every YouTuber who makes geography content would describe themselves as a GeoTuber. For example, some YouTubers who make geography content may want to avoid the GeoTuber label to avoid confusion as well as controversy. <laughs> which we'll get to later. Geography commentators, for example, are often not described as GeoTubers because of their interest in simplifying their content and maintaining a neutral stance with their audience. Think of it this way. Not every geography YouTuber is a GeoTuber, but every GeoTuber is a geography YouTuber. There are different types of geography YouTubers who may fall under the umbrella term of GeoTuber. They are mappers, editors, country ball animators, veterans, warriors, and last but not least, trolls. First on this list, mappers are probably the most common form of GeoTubers on the platform, but the least skilled out of them. These are YouTubers who upload videos showcasing maps about specific topics, such as their opinions on countries or the populations of different nations. They are usually meant to be educational, but some are just for entertainment purposes. Prominent examples include History World 54 and MFA Mapping. Editors are GeoTubers who use software such as CapCut or Alightmotion to make videos about topics relating to geography. They are slightly less common but more skilled than mappers. However, they are also a niche within a niche. What I mean by this is that there are different kinds of GeoTube editors with their own styles and topics that they cover, such as CVC editors and nationalist editors. Country vs. Country, or CVC editors are GeoTubers who take two countries and compare them through an edit which is meant to look cool. The purpose of these edits is to entertain as well as inform the audience of countries and their statistics. This is a niche of geography editing that was popular in early 2023, but has been losing traction since. Prominent examples today include Memory Ball Edits and Willy Nicks. Nationalist editors, on the other hand, are part of a new niche that has been growing since its birth in the spring or summer of 2023. These editors make videos that are meant to be provocative by attacking other countries that they don't like or defending their own country's history or interests. Prominent nationalist editors include Republic of Torsovo and Britannia Edits. Country Ball animators are GeoTubers who make animations with characters called Country Balls. These are cartoons meant to depict countries often in a humorous way. However, not every Country Ball editor will accept the term GeoTuber. But some will. Prominent examples include Ash Does Games and Basically Ty. Veterans are GeoTubers who are very skilled and can do mapping, editing, and animations. They have been around for at least a year and have so much fame within the GeoTube community that almost everyone knows them. They also have a large subscriber base and influence over the community. The best example of a GeoTube veteran is Korak Mapping, who has over 300,000 subscribers. Warriors are GeoTubers who fight with other GeoTubers. They fight through uploading videos or posting in their community tabs insults towards other GeoTubers they are quote-unquote at war with. They are almost always fighting and creating drama, so they create or join GeoTube alliances to gain support from GeoTubers with similar beliefs or interests. This is the part of GeoTube that many geography YouTubers try to avoid, because they see GeoTube warriors as toxic and too controversial to get involved with. Prominent GeoTube warriors include Russia CB and Angela Mapper. Trolls are GeoTubers who operate much like warriors, however their sole purpose is to make other GeoTubers rage by annoying them. They have alliances and fight with other GeoTubers like warriors do, so it's hard sometimes to tell who is a troll and who is not. They often have contradictory and controversial views to attract attention, which is what makes them more powerful. While warriors may have good intentions, trolls almost never do and try to undermine the community by creating drama and causing conflict between GeoTubers. Prominent examples of trolls include Adolf Ogi and Hyper Maskism Leader. GeoTuber is an umbrella term for YouTubers who make geography content. 
There are many types of GeoTubers, from mappers to editors, but not everyone who makes geography content may want to describe themselves as a GeoTuber. While there is a lot of toxicity in some of the community, the majority of GeoTubers are good people and will try to help you learn about geography in a fun way. Thank you for watching. I made this video because I often get comments asking me what GeoTubers are, and I wanted to clear up confusion people may have about them. I also want to start taking a more active role in the GeoTube community as I'm about to hit 75,000 subscribers and feel I'm one of the more larger and more experienced members of it. This is my first video doing commentary about GeoTube, but if it does well, I might make more. If you have any suggestions for videos or questions about GeoTube, feel free to ask in the comments.